Hello everyone, this is JL and I'm now going to show you how to build a fully automatic working sand generator for Minecraft 1.3.1. So let's start off. We need a, a 4x7 platform in the beginning. 4, 5, 6, 7. and two pistons facing downwards so that if they extend they will reach the platform just like this then some more blocks here now uh, two one tick repeaters at the top two two tick repeaters at the bottom here torch redstone wire here and here another piston over here lock, torch, another torch, and oh actually I screwed it up, piston has to be here. By the way this design is originally made from test 137E29 but I adjusted it to actually make it working in this version and if we now um, extend this platform by two more meters and add piston in front they will duplicate the sand if we press the button. Working fine. And now we can actually just use this design or uh, make it make it uh, fully automatic. And for this I suggest to do the following. Add a two tick repeater here. Another piston here. Redstone torch here. Remember not to, to place it in this direction, otherwise you will get uh, bad interference here. Just over here. Then, um, for now, place a lever and switch it on, on top. So, and if you now switch this off, you will get a pulse. And if you now place sand here, you can... Uh, you have now got a clock, which is duplicating the sand. Okay, and the next steps are getting some normal pistons and at first I want to remove the sand here okay place them two uh, one meter above the redstone so that there's one meter space in between and of course we can actually extend this design a little bit I will just do four meters on every side to demonstrate this so you can easily adjust the production rate to your own requirements and if we now add in more stick pistons, they will all duplicate the sand and therefore, of course, you will get uh, lots of sand very quickly. You can use this sand for, especially for crafting TNT, it's very handy just if you fill in your gun inventory full of gunpowder and then you can adjust the uh, stand uh, to at the sand generator and let it fill with sand while crafting it and yeah you will see how this is working when the design is finished and of course you can do sandstone and other stuff with it so it's actually pretty useful and I like it a lot so um, while I'm rambling here I've set up this uh, little redstone and this is just an easy fix uh, set two re both repeaters to two ticks to Uh, um, yeah, to have the right timing at the uh, repeaters here. What happens now if we add something like redstone wire? We will get uh, sand items by now. If we activate the clock again, and next step is to transport them all to one spot. And the easy f easiest way to do this is the following. We are going to add one uh, row of trapdoors here, and to power these, just put in two repeaters at two tick delay on each side.
just like this. Then we need trapdoors at the inside of the iron blocks. Actually, of course, you can use whatever block you want to use. And now we replace the redstone with ice. Ice is not needed, but just uh, yeah improves the speed at which you get the sand. So it's nice to have ice. It actually, it rhymes even. Lock this off and put water at the end. And there should now be the center somewhere around here. And we now can get our sand right in front of here. So let's test it out. And you see what happens is that actually these are all sand stacks. I can show you this when I'm cleaning my inventory. How quick this thing is actually producing sand. Two stacks. Three stacks. And of course you can extend this as long as you want. Last thing I suggest you to do is... Uh, since the last bits of sand you get uh, will always land on the trapdoor here, you can add another just pulse here by adding a button here or something. And to prevent this from happening, uh, I recommend you to actually raise this one block. Then this won't happen anymore. Sorry, this was my fault, didn't think about this. And do the same on the other side. So now you should get all the sand, and if the sand is left over at the end, you can just press this button to get, get the last bit. And uh, yeah, actually to remove uh, or to reduce the lag, you should definitely cover up this part, because um, this is where the sand is duplicated and it messes up with the sunlight if there is no block above. And this is just just creating a lot, of m lot more lag. Last thing I recommend you to do is just... Uh, making a little redstone wire here to the other side so you can easily switch this machine on or off. Let's try it out. Okay, and now you have your fully working uh, nice sand generator for 1.3. Um, yeah, and I hope you uh, liked the video. So uh, enjoy uh, your new update, and see you next time.